Hello everyone, this is Greg Larson with the Siler Geospatial Tech Support Team and I'd like to welcome you to our new series of videos on the TSC-5. The first video is going to be the unboxing of the TSC-5 and then we're going to compare it to some of its predecessors. Uh, the TSC-7, as you know, has been out for a couple of years and in my opinion it's been one of the best compromises between a tablet and a, and a traditional data collector that we've seen on the market been a great device can't complain about it but it might be a little much for some people and what people were really wanting was a replacement for this device here the uh, the TSC 3 and in my opinion with the TSC 5 Trimble has knocked it out of the park so the TSC 5 comes in your standard Trimble box if you've ever taken delivery of one of these that's pretty familiar you've got the sleeve with the, the marketing on it and um, we'll get rid of that there but and this is what we typically do as a tech support team before we deliver these devices to you is uh, we unbox them for you but as I open the box here you can see that there's a case in here that's a welcome addition TSC 7 did not have a case in the box with it so it's nice to see that there is a case involved this time. And then as we dig further into the box here, here's our TSC-5 shrink wrapped uh, for protection here. And let me just pull it out of the box here. And the first thing you, when you pick up a TSC-5 is you're gonna notice how easily it fits into the hand. This is, uh, uh, like I said before, Trimble knocked it out of the park uh, with the, this design, I think. When we uh, compare it to some of the other data collectors later on in the video here, you're going to see that they did a really nice job of designing the housing on this data collector. And it, it just feels really nice in the hand, kind of like your favorite uh, baseball glove or a good pair of boots that uh, you put on for the first time. That's kind of how it feels. We'll dig further into the box here. What I'm seeing here is uh, this probably is the charger. And a couple of adapters here. Okay, what do we got in here? Uh, yes, uh, this is uh, the charger. And the first thing you're going to notice when you open the charger is that uh, it's self-contained. It's a USB-C style charger. Uh, what this means is that, and I did try this, you'll be able to charge these in your car if you have USB-C charging accessories for your phone or your tablet. That's going to be a welcome addition to this data collector line. We'll put that there. In the next compartment over, we've got looks the charging cord. It's a USB-C to USB-C cord. So obviously it's going to plug into the charger. Then that's going to plug into the bottom of the, of the TSC-5, which also has a USB-C port. Uh, so lots of accessories available for it because of this. The other nice thing, if you've got a newer computer, is that like the TSC-3, this is now gonna plug back into your computer and I've already tried it and it works great. Uh, well, the other things we have in the box here, we got a screen protector, we've got a stylus, we've got your quick start guide, And then we've got a hand strap, very much like the TSC-7 hand strap. And that would go on either side of the TSC-5. And, oh, this is nice too. Uh, we've got a screwdriver. So with the, if you've noticed on the back, when you look at these, you've got your Empower slot here for your Empower radio. That is the same radio that goes on the TSC-7. So that's interchangeable. You'll need a small screwdriver for that, and that's probably why they included it this time. And then I do see that there is a uh, compartment on the back here, and I'm guessing that's where the SIM card goes. And then I believe there's also going to be a battery, that, an extra, extra battery that's released later on 
that'll go in here. Uh, this thing will run 16 to 18 hours as is, but putting an extra battery in there is really gonna make it run. Uh, but again, let's get everything laid out here. We've got, in the box again, we've got our case, screwdriver, we've got a, a quick start guide, screen protector, a hand strap, a stylus, your USB-C to USB-C cable, your charger, and your TSE-5. And that's the unboxing of the TSE-5. What we're going to do next is uh, take a look at how this thing stacks up to its previous uh, data collectors here. So again, I just want to emphasize this thing. I mean, you pick this up, it really does feel good. Uh, we'll go over some basic parts here real quick. You've got standard keyboard. It's actually bigger. Let's, uh, let's get the uh, TSE 7 side by side with this thing. Because that is the newest data collector. And yeah, we'll get the TSC 3 out as well. So let's take a look at all three of these. And the TSC 5 is kind of the, the spiritual successor to the TSC 3. And then we got the, 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 uh, the big brother over here, the TSC 7. As you can see, it's a really nice uh, evolution between these three. You know, went with the heavy hitter that came out a couple years ago, and now we've got the, uh, the, the, the true successor to the TSC3 and the TSC5. Again, the first thing you're gonna notice, again, is how easy it is to hold, how, how thin the neck is here. What they managed to do was keep, was actually put bigger keys on a smaller keyboard if you compare it to the TSC7. The number keys are about the same on all of these. The, the directional pad and the enter keys, the menu keys, uh, things like that are basically in the same spot. And we on the TSC7, we have function keys here and here. On the TSC5, your F1 through F6 are right here. F7 through F12 are right here. So you've got 12 function keys uh, that will not require the use of holding down a separate function key and using that. And on the TSE 7 we have to use the function key on some of these to get the extra uh, function keys. So very nice overall. And then what I really like about the TSE 5 is that I can pretty much get my thumb all the way across there. And so as I'm holding this one-handed, and I'm guessing this is going to come in real handy using the R12i, when you know you don't have to keep that plumb anymore you can keep a collector in one hand and the r12 in the other if you're collecting data or the r12i and this is really easy to operate with just your thumb uh, for the most part you know the tse 7 does kind of a similar thing uh, but it is a little heavier and then the tse 3 actually now that you, you compare it to the two newer collectors is it's kind of awkward to hold but let's, let's get everything out here. Let's get all of these collectors out. Just kind of show you how they've evolved over the years. So we got TSC3, TSC5, TSC7. And let's bring out, we got the TDC1. I'm missing the, the TDC2, I don't have one of those. I've got the TSC1 the TSCE and the TSC2. And here's kind of the, I can't believe we had all these laying around. But here's the evolution of some of your data, Trimble data collectors, the TSC style data collectors over the last almost 30 years here. This came out in 1992, I believe. Uh, the TDC1 was obviously pretty advanced for its day, but you look back on it now, it's pretty hard to hold in the hand. Uh, the TSC-1, very, actually very nice to hold in the hand. I'd almost compare it to the TSC-7. They're pretty darn close. They got about the same feel in the hand here. The TSCE got kind of boxy, and you can see that the, the neck portion here, the center section kind of narrowed up, so it's kind of harder to hold. That improved with the TSC-2, and Again, you know, I, I, we take the TSC3 for granted, but it's been out for the last decade, but it's actually kind of clumsy to hold. It's very narrow, 
but it flares out really quick. So it's actually kind of hard to hold. And again, well, I'll, I'll jump to the TSC-7. You know, really good compromise again between a tablet and a, and a, uh, and a data collector. You know, we, we sold, we've sold tons of them over the last few years, and I'm sure we'll continue to sell a lot of them, especially in scanning and high-end applications. But honestly, the all-star here today is the TSC-5. It's, it's obviously, if you, if you were to compare all of these, it's got the narrowest and most tapered uh, center section here. And it, you gotta get one in your hands. It's very easy to hold, it's light. It's, I think it's lighter than all of these if I were to check. I'd, I'd put it up against anything actually. That's it for the unboxing video and some of our next videos. We're going to set up the, the TSC5 electronically, set up the accounts on it, install Trimble Access, kind of show you how it goes in the case and everything. And, um, as always, if you have any questions, please give us a call.